The Bible says in John 15, 13, greater love has no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. He has over 200 trophies and medals and plaques. He was underage. He wasn't supposed to come in. Daniel was the fastest person I've ever seen in my life with his hands, his feet, anything. He had a great sense of humor. He was willing to tutor the kids who were having trouble. So he wasn't just nicknamed Superman for no reason. Yeah, he was, he was a very friendly guy. He had lots of friends. He was good with children. He wasn't a student. He wasn't a friend. He's like my son. He didn't beat you over the head with it, um, but he just quietly every day, day in and day out, showed you that you know God's love is working through him. First thing I remember and always remember was his smile or grin. He could take orders like no other, and he did whatever he could to make sure that what he had to do got done in the best possible way. Just the type of guy he was. And so he was planning on proposing to me in October. And then the next thing you know, we were getting attacked. Seeing them come in, and, and as soon as I ran in this way, the, the two Iraqis were coming in this way, so I was kind of guiding them into the bunker. And the next thing I know, I, I run out and I see him carrying away hunger. When you have a war, you have a war going on, and you lose a soldier, the whole town loses the soldier. I mean, he's 19 years old, and he talks like he's been a pastor for 25 years or so. I mean, I mean, his faith was stronger than anyone's I've seen. I think Daniel was one of the prime examples of um, the saying that uh, comes around often about preaching the gospel to the world and then when necessary you use words. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. I just remember thinking that, you know, that's a dad that loves his son. And Daniel's message is the same as Jesus' message. And if Daniel's life would count for something, let it count for the fact that you need to know you never need to be good enough to earn your place of safety in the bunker of God, the place the Bible calls heaven. He was a son, a brother, a friend, a student, an athlete, a boyfriend, a minister, a soldier, and a hero who gave his life for his friends. Yeah, I think God had a plan for it all. And this was the best way to glorify God. <laughs>